Hello, 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 everyone. How are you doing today? I am doing pretty good so far. It's been a pretty lazy, easy day. But welcome in, Pokey Day. Welcome in, Burton. And welcome in, Groucho Porks. I appreciate you all for being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How have your days been going so far? So I need to turn my phone down so I don't get any loud notifications, you know? But uh, welcome in. Happy Friday. I hope your work week went by pretty easily for you. But uh, yeah, now we're just going to chill out and chat for a little bit before we get cooking. And uh, yeah, let's just have a good time tonight. Hopefully, hopefully it's a good time. And also, I need opinions on this real quick. Welcome in, Tyler, sleepy and lazy. Yo, Jeff, how's it going? Hey, yo, L is dad, Tyler. Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. Thank you so much for coming in. Does that look better now? Because I think I figured out a way to adjust the the we cook in screen or scene there. Hopefully it looks better now. But um, I think I figured out a better way to adjust it. I think it looks better now. I'm doing pretty good. Pretty good. Had a lazy day, of course. Hung out in your stream today. Thank you so much, Jess. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for the for the lurk. I'm sorry I'm not there with you. I uh, hope you all have a great time tonight. I'm going to give you a shout out. I was going to. There we go. Please, please go give her a follow. Please, please, please. It's her birthday on Monday. And I have a uh, family up there having dinner with her tonight. And I didn't go because I have been having a pretty I had a pretty rough mental health day the other day. I'm gonna be a little open, so it was just like just too much going on, and just wanted to have a chill weekend, you know, if that makes any sense. Hopefully, y'all understand. Thank y'all so much. And uh, like I said, Jess's birthday is on Monday, so please go give her some love. And I do know she will be streaming tomorrow morning-ish, sometime I think. I think she's gonna do some. Uh, I know she's gonna be doing Zelda, or no, uh, Mario Kart more than likely, and then something else. But we'll we'll figure that out tomorrow morning. But yes, all right, we back. Dad joke. What was it? Why are giraffes so slow to apologize? Because it takes them a long time to swallow their pride. Wow, what a <laughs> that was a good one. Also, let me do Day's shout out real quick. Thank you so much for being here. She's recently been playing Kirby, a really fun Kirby game, and she's been doing The Sims too. She, she's been streaming again, but she's gonna go on a break here shortly. So uh, definitely go drop her some love as well. But uh, yeah, today's been a pretty chill, fun day so far. It's been, went to the store, hung out in Pokey Day stream last night, stayed up till like 3.30, hanging out in Miss Groucho Pork's subathon, which was really awesome. It was a good time over there for sure. And leading into that, let's go ahead and do her shout out real quick. Yes, Miss Groucho Porks. She's getting ready to do a big move, and last night was her last stream for three to three weeks. I think she said three weeks to a month because of the big, big move across country. We wish you nothing but an easy transition as you go. Welcome in, Naima. How are you? So good to see you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Hope, hope your day is going well. It's been a been a good day for me so far. Yes, it has. And I'm trying that uh that special drinky drink here again. It's working now that I'm having a pretty full dose. Wish I had a direct line on some Mongolian beef tonight. I'm hungry. I am super excited to try this. I have never cooked Mongolian beef before. But of course, I've been to a lot of Mongolian buffets before, like the where they cook on the big round stone and you bring all your stuff up there. And also had it at P.F. Chang's and it's pretty damn good. So I'm definitely going to give it a good, valiant effort tonight. Hopefully it's not disappointing. Yes, good, good, good. I also, I'm going to plate on my new plate that I got the other day, guys. Look at it. Now I've got like, I've got too many plates now. I think I have a problem. I'm going to collect plating plates but this one looks really cool it's a uh, um, hearth and hand from target welcome in mom good to see you yes i've got three plating plates no oh, four actually i got that one i got my black one here this is my streaming drawer by the way how cool is that i got that one i got this one i got all sorts of plates in here Ooh, what was that oh that was my bowls and then i got this long plate too 
I think I might have a plating problem, or a problem with plates, but you know, ah. Well, I almost got rid of a couple there by breaking them. But we good. And also, ooh, goodness gracious. How's your day been going, Ella's dad, Tyler? You got your Eternals? Heck yes. Heck yes. Some pretty cool things are happening right now. Yes, welcome in, Mom. Well, I like the long rectangle one. I love non-traditional plating. So do I. I actually use that on stream once or twice now. And it actually plates up pretty good. Pretty happy with it. But uh, got a couple of brand deals in the work here, which is super, super exciting. I think maybe next stream I might have one or the both of them up and going. So that's super cool. They're coming with uh, me and the uh, Arcade Amigos. Yes, two. We've got two brand deals. One approached me which is this one. I don't want to give any names away yet. And it's not the big brand that everybody talks about, but it is a really, really good one. And then there's a supplement company also that reached out to Groucho Porks wanting to get with our stream team. The Arcade Amigos, there we go. Just do a little shout out for everybody in there real quick. Super, super cool. Awesome things are happening. And yeah, I just think, think it's gonna go only up from here. I'm super excited to see what the future holds. It's super, super exciting with all of these awesome possibilities in the future. And also, I think I hit a new level this week. I was like, you know, you know those long tongs that they have, like fancy chefs have and stuff for plating and stuff? I, uh, I did it. I got them. I got the long tongs, guys. I think I might have a problem. But now I can be super fancy. The main reason why I wanted these Yes, giving a new meaning to AA, exactly. Got the long plating tweezers so I can go in because sometimes my hands are shaky, you know? This way I can go in just like this and I can pick it up and place it down. But also, there was a really awesome plating that you can do with pasta noodles. You run the noodles along here and then you twirl them and it's like a long, uh, whatever. It's just, it fills up the plate like this instead of just a mound. It's like a long strand and it's pretty cool. Welcome in, CG. How are you? Good to see you, good to see you. Time to grab a drink. So I went to the grocery store today and I grabbed six different new beers that I've never tried. So, ooh, the farts, the farts. So we'll let you pick. I've got a Pink Lemonade Session Sour Ale here by Highwire. This one looks pretty cool. So I've also got, now I don't drink a lot. These are gonna be saved for streams, I promise. I've got Gizmo Brew Works. And it's Gizmo Gozy Wild Strawberry Gozy. This one looks really, really good. And I really like the can art on some of these cans. They're really cool. I got Deep Blue Blueberry Saison Ale by Gizmo Works as well. Oh, the strawberry one. I think I'm going to go with that one too. I'm going to show you the rest real quick. I've also got Brew Prince Brewing Company. This is a coconut lime sour. Pretty excited about trying this one. What else do I got here? I got a passion fruit gozy. I don't know if you can see a trend here. I like fruity sour beers. And now I've got a blood orange cider too. I actually picked up a cider today. I'm really excited to try every single one of these and I will not try them unless I am on stream. So these are my streaming beers. So we want the strawberry one? Yes. We're gonna do the strawberry one, right? Pretty excited to try this one. This one is actually brewed in North Raleigh, North Carolina. So super that are pretty close to where I am. Wouldn't say super close, because it's not super close. All right, here we go. We're going to give it a try. Pretty excited about this. I'm going to smell it first. Ooh, it's nice and bubbly. Look at the bubbles. The bubbles. Ooh, that smells good. Wow. I like that a lot. I really do. I'm going to read what it says on the back. It's kettle soured for 48 hours. Wow. Oh, freshly crushed coriander and pink Himalayan salt complete the style. Wow. 4.3%. That's actually really, really good. I'm digging that. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Oh, wow. That is pretty cool. Maybe we can uh, see if we can work something out there. That would be cool. All right. So... What else do I have to talk about? Oh, the menu today, like I said, we're doing Mongolian beef. Funny story about the 
beef. Is this actually plugged in? I want to make sure my laptop doesn't die. Wow, one sip of beer and I already burped. I'm sorry. All right, so the Mongolian beef, I was sad. I went to the store and I wanted to get the skirt steak. You can do this with skirt or flank steak. And the skirt steak was on sale. So I was like, oh, I need to go and get that. So I went and looked for the skirt steak, right? Completely empty. And then right behind it to the left, it said stir fry meat. So I was like, so what's the stir fry meat? He was like, skirt steak. I was like, I'll take a pound of it. <laughs> And he gave me the discounted price too, so that's super exciting. So I've got my skirt steak already cut up for me, so I don't have to get meaty, dirty hands, which is nice. And I got a bunch of vegetables over here as well. I've got some baby corn, carrots, I've got a watermelon radish. These things are really cool. Welcome in, baby octopus. How are you? So good to see you in here. So, so good to see you in here. I've got the watermelon radish I got the baby corn I've got some green beans and believe it or not I went a little different and did the the uh, a leek I'm pretty excited to try this so what you mainly use of this is the white up into the light green but if you want to use the top stuff it just has to cook a little bit longer baby octopus is also a uh, sh we work together so super exciting to see people from work coming in and joining and having a good time with me while I stream super super cool Super cool. Hey, Tyler. Sorry, I'm just <laughs> all air today. No worries, my dude. All right, I hope y'all have a beer too so y'all can come chill out, hang out, you know, just relax. Watch me cook. Watch me mess something up. You know, it's a, it's a good time in here. Yes, it is. And that beer is really, really good. It's really good. Hmm. Just enough sourness to hit you right there in the back. It's really good. I also got a new... Uh, a new notebook here for my recipes so in my discord I took a picture of my recipe my handwritten recipes here and I'm gonna start posting those instead of retyping it all out and save me some time because I already write them down I'll just have to slow down and write it a little nicer and make sure I have all my thoughts put together before I decide to post the picture and if anybody wants to join discord here it is right there boom this recipe is already posted in discord and I hope you like this format. If you don't, let me know. Just tell me to slow down when I'm writing and not write like a five-year-old. So, yeah, it's not too bad. I mean, I can read it, but I've been reading my handwriting for such a long time, so it's okay. So, and I make bulgogi. I used some skirt steak, but I actually switched to flank steak lately. Flank steak was the alternative, too. If they didn't have the skirt steak, I was definitely going to get flank steak. It's still really good. I prefer handwritten recipes. Makes the food taste better. Totally agree with that. I thought people would like it because it's... You know, just handwritten. It feels like it feels personal that way. If that makes any sense. I like the personal feeling, and like reading a handwritten recipe. It's pretty cool. Pretty, pretty, pretty cool. So, I guess without further, with before I keep rambling on, I guess I should get going. I should get cooking here because this isn't gonna take too too long, but it's gonna take long enough. So let's go ahead and get our veggies prepped. I go ahead and uh, switch over to we cooking. Oh, there you go. Now you can see me. And now you're going to be able to see the cutting board. Boom. GoPro is facing down. Ooh. I want you to see all my notebook and my mouse. Oh, you're going to have to see my mouse pad. Sorry about that, guys. Got a cheap mouse, cheap mouse pad in case I mess it up. That way I don't have to spend a bunch of monies on it. All right. So what we're mainly going to cut up is the leek, of course. So we've got our leek, we've got a head of broccoli. Nice, nice. I'm gonna cut this baby corn up just a little bit because it's awfully big. And some of them don't look too good, so I'm gonna go through and pick through those. I cheated and got pre-shredded carrots and cleaned, trimmed green beans, so I cheated with that too. Actually not cheated, just used my resources, you know. Dark brown sugar for the sauce later. I got mung bean sprouts. I really like bean sprouts because they add a nice texture and like toothiness to whatever you're doing, as long as you don't overcook them, of course. And then, of course, the beautiful skirt steak and the watermelon radish. So if you've never seen one of these, watermelon radishes are really cool. Let me rinse. Actually, I'll show you the way to clean this in just a second. That's going to have sand and dirt all in it. So I'll show you how to do that. I'll do that one last. So let me wash off this watermelon radish real quick. We're going to peel it. It reveal the awesome colors on the inside. It's actually a very colorful radish, and it's super tasty when it's cooked too. 
So either that or regular radishes. So I was like, no, nah, let's change it up a little bit. So you see how it looks on the outside, right? Just wait. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. I don't know if y'all get as excited about food as I do, but uh, yeah. All right, so let's peel off the outer skin. And you'll start to see the pretty colors on the inside. Nope, not just yet. Watch this one not even do it. Watch this one be boring. You know what? I don't think this one's going to be colorful. <laughs> nope, this one's not going to do it. I guess it's too small. But you can get watermelon radishes, and you'll cut them open, and then they'll have this pretty... You know what? I'm going to look it up and show you what a watermelon radish is supposed to look like. There we go. See, this is what it's supposed to look like. Let me switch over to uh, screen capture real fast. I have my screen capture scene set up as they see everything. So you're going to see the uh, OBS screen here for just a second. But this is what a watermelon radish is supposed to look like. It's supposed to be super vibrant with the green on the outside, white, and then this beautiful pinkish whatever color you want to call it. It's really awesome. So I'm kind of sad that it's not super pretty. I wanted it for the color, but you know, it's okay. You live and learn, right? So let's go back to OBS, back to We Cooking. There we go. No more uh, streamception there. All right. So let me peel off these ugly bits here, and I'm just going to do thin slices of this. Good, good. I'm glad you get excited about food. Food is super exciting, and I love it so much. All right, so now I'm just going to do slices of it. I'm going to leave it a little bit thicker because it's going to cook down just a smidgen. So I want to have some bite left to it. Get my prep ball ready to go. Just slice it. Just get those little bits of radish in your bites. There we go. That's done. All right, next we'll do the broccoli. It's not pink. I feel lied to. I know. That's what I was hoping for. It's so sad. That's what they're supposed to look like, man. That's what I wanted. But no. We got the dud. See, as you can see, how dirty that is on the inside. So the easy way to clean this, you can save this if you want. Clean it really good and put it in a broth or a stock, but I'm not going to do that. So then you cut off the bottom, the root area like that, and then you cut it down the center long ways just like this and then you'll be able to open it up and get in all of those layers and you can see how dirty it is in there so make sure you really clean your leeks really really good they're a dirty dirty vegetable and they need to be cleaned all right so I'm gonna go over and do that right now we'll be back in just a second unless you want to watch me oh wait you can still kind of see me kinda I'm super thankful for the sink at this new place because it's got the high pressure to nozzle on it. So it actually cleans, you know, I don't have to sit there and scrub for forever. Oh, guys, there's a leak, it leak in my kitchen. Oh, no. Oh, stupid. Sorry, guys. You just have to deal with it. I got a leak under the sink. Make sure you really get in there and clean it really, 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 really good. Because you don't want gritty dirt in your food. Yeah, this one's really dirty. There we go. So with the leek, I'm just going to do a nice thin slice on it. Nothing too crazy here. I know, terrible. All right. So there we go, our leeks nice and clean. I'm going to get rid of that one too. I don't like the way it looks. So now you got this nice clean looking leek. You can open it up and you can see dirt's gone. Everything's good to go. Let me dry my hands off. There's a leak in the boat. Yes, there is. <laughs> okay, let's move that cord. I need to get a pair of wireless, a wireless headset because 
bitches be tripping with this thing and bitch by bitches I mean me be tripping over this damn cord here so now I'm just gonna do a nice thin slice nothing fancy here this is gonna be super good and super tasty it's gonna have that little bit of onion flavor to it but nothing too overpowering emotional Ooh. damage welcome in chaos how are you good to see you in here thank you thank you thank you thank you for being here wonder how many more times I can say thank you wow but how's your day been going? And can y'all hear the music or do I need to turn it up a little bit? Unless you want to hear the cutting. I love the sound of cutting. Good, nice and chilled. That's good to hear. This is a very oddly satisfying noise to me. It's the sound of the knife cutting through vegetables. ASMR vegetable cutting. <laughs> Got some sleep in <laughs> in the end. Yeah, good. I'm glad you got some sleep in. You were up late last night. You were up late last night. You said it was getting daylight before you went to bed? That's intense. And also, Skaos is a part of the AA team, the Arcade Amuse. Got to give him his shout out, of course. Thank you, thank you. Dozed off at 7 a.m. Really? I think I fell asleep around 4 last night. Or I guess this morning. It's not last night. It's this morning. Ice Queen, welcome in. How are you? So good to see you in here. Thank you for dropping in. I appreciate you. How have you been? How has your day been going? Super cool to see you in here. Where's my strainer? There's my strainer. It's all the way in the back. Now this is emotional damage. Our cabinets are super deep and go really far back. All right, so broccoli, here we are. All right, yes, welcome in, welcome in. So good to see you. Hopefully you're having a good day so far. So a cheat code I like to do for broccoli is if you're gonna do a lot of it, it's this is a super quick way. So you're gonna hold it here. And of course, if you're at work, odds are you're gonna have to wear a cut glove anyway. But I don't have a cut glove. So I'm just gonna be super, super careful with this. So you take it and you take your knife and you just hack off the, the broccoli crowns and it's super quick and super easy. Good, just like this. I'm not going like I usually do at work because I don't have a lot of space and stuff. So, And then you get rid of all of the, you know, don't eat all the stimmy parts. Super easy, super quick. And they're fairly decent size and shape. And boom. Woo. Welcome in, Hangry Kirby. How are you? Thank you so, so much for the follow. Busy with baby, baby buns, but thought I'd stop by and support and see yummy foods. Heck yes, I do really do appreciate that. Thank you so much. Hacks, yes. Welcome in Hangry Kirby. This is a hack. See how fast that was? Kitchen Hacks 101, right there, guys. I got water all over the floor. Thank you so much for the follow as well, Ice Queen. Woo, speaking of which, with these awesome follows that are happening, we finally, finally broke 400, you guys. With those two follows, we should be at 404 now. So that is super, super exciting. I think originally, like a few months ago, I said that I was going to do a 12-hour uh, a stream when I hit 500, and I think I'm still going to do that. That'll just give me an excuse to do the 12-hour stream I said I was going to do like two months ago, and it never happened. So, oh, now that's emotional damage. Okay, all right, let's do shots. What should I do? <laughs> Our spice cabinet's hidden now. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see it. I said spice cabinet. Our liquor cabinet has moved. So I've got, let me get my shot glass. Y'all gonna get me drunk tonight, I can feel it. Well, that's fine, I've got the next two days off to recoup, so it doesn't matter. Of course, gotta get my awesome uh, follow hype, super exciting. <laughs> got my Boston Red Sox shot glass here. I could, you know, that's the super exciting part is I've got that grill out there now top notch i cannot wait to do a grilling stream that is going to be coming very very soon i'm out of points now so you gotta wait before you could do it again i got you so i've got disarono i've you can pick by the way yes i definitely want to do some smoke meats too i want to get a smoker at some point too i've got disarono i've got maker's mark who that stuff's rough warm uh crown apple i've got cinnamon old smoky whiskey i've got peach whiskey I've got the Three Olives Loopy Vodka. Shit's delicious, by the way. If you've never had this one before, 
Oops, what did I just knock over? Oh, that's okay. It's a ring light on the floor. That's just for picture time. Get out of here. See, that's what I mean when I get tangled up. All right, so this stuff here, if you have never had this, Maker's Mark with the Mongolian beef. All right, I'll do Maker's Mark. But if you've never had this stuff before, it's Fruit Loops with a kick, with a punch. It tastes just like Fruit Loops with the, all of the burn of vodka. So it's really, really good. So let's do the Maker's Mark then. How much is left of that, by the way? Oh, wow, we still got a lot of Maker's Mark left. It's really good. You should definitely try Loopy. It's by Three Olives. It's really, really, really good. And if you mix it with uh, like blueberry lemonade or raspberry lemonade, perfect summertime drink right there. Just saying. Just saying. All right. Oof. This one's going to put some more hair on my chest. We'll be feeling it, Mr. Krabs. All right, so cheers to all of you beautiful people in chat and Twitch land today. Cheers. Cheers. See, that way you can see. I ain't skimping, and I didn't want to spill it, so I didn't fill it up all the way because I was going to do this. Cheers. Be going for it. Oh, good God. I'm mentally preparing myself. Just one second. Yes, cheers to 400 followers. I do, do appreciate that. All right, let me get my chaser ready, which is uh, beer. So, yeah, we're going to have a great time. That stuff never disappoints. No, it doesn't. Whew. I can't do shots. That one was a. Uh, that one was a. Uh, wow. Wait a second. Thank you for the hydrate. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Now that my tongue's numb, let's keep going. All right, so let's trim up these, uh, the baby corn. Oh, wait, where did I put the broccoli? I think I put it in the sink, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Let's clean up the broccoli real quick. And it has a detachable head on the faucet. Another huge win. Another huge win. So how do you guys like, what do you like in your stir-fried vegetables? I, uh, bourbon neat for life. Yes, if that was on ice... I could have definitely handled it way, way, way better, but uh, just can't. All right. So here's our baby corn. I'm gonna cut them in half. See, some of them don't look too, too good, too happy. So we're gonna weed through these just a little bit and clean them up. I'm doing. <laughs> I've been doing nothing but make you drink. I figure I could give your liver a break. I appreciate that, but we're here for a good time. And a fun place to hang out. So it's all good. It's just going to be a fun night. That's all. Going to listen alert because driving to Costco. I hope you have a safe trip. And uh, yeah, hopefully you get everything you need from the store. Because I know it's kind of rough here uh, out there lately. <coughs> oh, thank you for the farts, chaos. That was a good one. But uh, definitely drive safe. What did I miss? Oh, no ice. I got you. My bad. Oh, wow. That's a smart idea. That's a smart idea, actually. Let's get a cold glass. Make sure I'm catching up. Make sure you put the alcohol, because Costco alcohol is the cheapest. I know. Costco alcohol is cheap. I'm probably going to end up getting one of those memberships here soon. Probably. Because there's one that's not too, too far from here. It's close enough to where it's going to be worth the trip. All right, let's clean this up. Got our baby corn all cut up. Groucho Pork's making me use the chopsticks tonight. All right, so the chopsticks will come in during uh, trying time. And y'all are going to see me ride the struggle bus some kind of hard. So I'm actually going to use the metal ones. I cannot use chopsticks, so this should be fun for everyone. There we go. Got the chopsticks here. Only Brad's, welcome in. So happy to see you. Thank you so much for coming in. Put the chopsticks down there. Yes, eating and lurk, much love. What are you having for dinner? Also, if anybody else wants to chime in what they're having for dinner, I am, like I said, I'm a food nerd, so I like to know what everybody's having for dinner because I'm nosy. 
I know Z. All right. My corn's washed. My leeks are washed. My radishes are good to go. The broccoli's all cut up and good to go. We're moving right along, you guys, and having a good time while we are doing it. I'm super excited about the stir fry. I love a good crisp vegetable for stir fry. Some people have only fans. We have only brads. This is true. We have only brads. I had chicken and bacon flatbread. That sounds really good. And barbe with barbecue sauce. That sounds really, really good. I just ordered hot wings from the bar across the street. I'm going to go grab them in a few. Awesome, awesome. Hot wings are always, always, always a good option. Especially on a Friday night. And also, though, no sponsorship here. But um, if you ever want boneless wings on a Thursday night, they're BOGO at uh, Buffalo Wild Wings. I don't know if it's everywhere. But uh, just putting that out there. <laughs> Hot wings and bourbon, and that's how it is. Sounds like a good dinner. Cheers. Boneless wings or chicken nuggets, this is true. I think it's Tuesdays they do the BOGO on uh, bone-in wings. More beer. All right. So our green beans are already cleaned. Our carrots are cleaned. Let's get into the beef now. Let's start doing some meat prep. All right. So I'm going to get me a Ziploc bag, which I have over here. Actually, I'm not going to do this just yet. I'll show it to you first. And then we'll get going. Oopsies. Where am I going? What am I doing? All right. So like I said, this is already pre-sliced, pre-cut up for me. Took all the work out of it for me. So there we go. We actually got a pound and a quarter. So I'm going to have some lunch tomorrow. Look at it. That looks pretty good. It's just skirt steak that was trimmed up and then they cut it into strips. It's got some fat left on it, not too, too much, just enough for some uh, good flavor and some moisture. So this is gonna be good. Super excited about the beef. Cool, now that's set off to the side. What else do we need to prep before? Oh, we need to do garlic. And also, I'm kind of disappointed it looks like some good meat for sure. It is going to be good meat. I'm super excited about it. I looked at three different stores and I could not find fresh ginger today. So I had to get this. Not hating on it or anything. It actually tastes pretty damn close to the real thing. So the only thing is if you get it pre-done like this is that it's got like dextrose, glycerin, fructose, and citric acid in it and some xanthan gum. So it's to keep it from caking and binding up and everything. You know what I mean? I mean, it still smells like ginger. It still tastes like ginger, so we're going to use it. And I can feel the Maker's Mark coursing through my veins now. I'm starting to get warm. So good things are happening in here. Yes, they are. Why did I put the cutting board in the sink? I need it back. Because we got to prep the garlic. Got to prep the garlic. So I've got a full head of garlic here. I'm probably how much do I need? I need three cloves for the beef, and I need two cloves for the stir fry. Literally growing ginger right now. <laughs> well, if you have any extra, holla at your boy over here. We're growing. Uh oh, I need to show you the green onions. The herbs behind the laptop aren't. Some of them aren't too happy. I think we overwatered them and killed some of them. But it's okay. I'm going to show you the green onions anyway. But remember what the green onions looked like last stream? That's what they look like now. They are like, they going, man. We're going to use those tonight. But the rosemary, half of the plant doesn't look too happy. The parsley looks fine. And both of the basil plants look fine. But the cilantro and the rosemary are just looking kind of meh. So I think I might have to get some new plants or something. Because they aren't happy. We also have strawberries out on the balcony. And then we have um, a Thai chili plant as well, which is still very tiny, but I cannot wait to put Thai chilies into some of this food. It's going to be super good. It's going to be super spicy, but it's going to be super good. And boom, got my garlic press. Whoops. How are the Thai chilies coming up? I actually closed the blinds, but I will show you really fast. Let me open them back up. The sun was coming in and creating a terrible glare. So I will open up the blinds real quick and then I will give you a little look. 
because now there's no bad, terrible glare. It's hiding behind the houses around us now. Hold on, I gotta get these mini blinds up. They are uh, the ones that you just push up. They're not the ones you pull the string for. It's weird. You gotta get them just right for them to work. All right, so maybe you can see them from here. You can see it. It's the one that's in the uh, the little pot right there. It's growing. It's grown a few inches since uh, last stream, but it's coming right along. It's doing good. All right, so let's smash this gin uh, garlic. Don't hold back. The better you smash it, the easier it is to get the skin off. Or as I like to say, the paper. The garlic paper. <laughs> I don't know why I call it paper, but I do. So that one's done. Anybody got any fun plans for the weekend? I'm excited for that one. Heck yes. Welcome in, Hamrick. Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. How are you? So good to see you in here. Thank you for the follow earlier today, by the way. I appreciate you. Hopefully you're having a good day or night. Let's, ooh, this one's got a little bit of a funky funk on top. Let's cut that out. All right. Yes, welcome in, welcome in. Press the garlic. Hopefully you are having a great day so far. I think it's about the same time for me that it is for you. It is 7.06 right now. 7.06 where I'm at. It's a good time. Speaking of which, if the internet was to cut out, it should be any second now. So if it happens, just stay in place. And when I tell you to refresh, just refresh, okay? But I did reset the internet today, so hopefully we'll be good. Because last, the last few times the internet cut out, it was literally at the same time. It's weird how it does that. But it's just the way it happens. It's usually between 7 and like 7.15. It's the strangest thing. So hopefully it doesn't. Because I would love to upload this to YouTube. I need to get uh, editing software to where I can put together the three VODs from my last stream on last Thursday. We both East Coast. I'm in the Atlanta area. I am in North Carolina. That's super cool. We're actually pretty close to each other. Who knew? Who knew? That's pretty cool. All right, so there's our three cloves of garlic for the stir fry. And I'm gonna put a little bit of this one into the stir fried vegetables. For the beef and for the stir fry, we are ready to go. I have, I uh, mainly used my younger sister's, uh, her Mac. So I'm really good with like iMovie and stuff when I was doing my YouTube videos, but I haven't really gotten into it since I got my laptop. If that makes any sense. Starting Lego Star Wars tonight and packing. <laughs> oh yeah, you're packing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's high. Yeah. I know the struggle of the move. I do, because we just moved in over here, my sister and brother-in-law and I, and it's a, it is a process. It takes a lot out of you. You use OBS, can't you just enable, oh, you know, I didn't even think of that. That's actually a really, really good point. I should just start recording it, and then once I upload it, just delete it off of the laptop. That would make total sense, you know? But sometimes it takes smart people to tell me how to, <laughs> to show me a better way of doing things. Well, sometimes I'm not the sharpest knife in the drawer. You see what I did there? I made it a culinary pun, a cooking pun. Ah, so I've heard, I have a friend up in NC somewhere. You can send some, <laughs> I got you. Oh yeah, it doesn't record sound very well is all. I got you, so better use the VODs. I got you, I got you. So I do need to look into getting some editing software. That way I can trim them up a little bit. That way when there's dead time, you know, when nobody like, when I'm just like, oh, I don't know what to talk about kind of thing that I could cut that out. Make it look like, you know, that I'm engaging the whole time. So, uh, yeah, interesting. I haven't looked into that. I, I That's good information. I need to learn that kind of stuff because I definitely want to keep posting. I need to 
I need to do a push to get my socials going. I just uploaded another TikTok and I uploaded on Hoover or Hover today. Excuse me, sorry. Uploaded on Hover today, so that's good. And then I need to start posting more on Instagram and Twitter. But yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. And if you want to know what my uh, here's my uh, my link tree right there. Boom. If you ever want to follow me on anything else, I'm everywhere, man. I'm everywhere. All right. So I think we are officially all prepped. So I'm going to stick this one off to the side here. Stick this one off to the side here. That way they're differentiated. What else? Is there anything else we need to prep? I think we are all prepped up. Got the brown sugar, the garlic done. Let me put the garlic up top of the fridge with the onions we got there. Put the maker's mark away. That way it's out of the way. It doesn't stare at me or remind me of how bad it burns. All right. Cool. Oh yeah, and there's the Chefy Mart as well. Right there. Alright, so I'm gonna take this out. Since this has been sitting in this bag, I don't want to reuse the bag. So I'm gonna put the the skirt steak into a Ziploc bag and then I'm gonna coat it in some cornstarch. That way it creates a little bit of a breading on the outside. And now you can really see it. Look at that. I do have green onion right here, yes. On the in the uh, on my plants. <laughs> that's hilarious hey if you need the maker's mark taken care of <laughs> I know a guy okay admit it I am the guy that's hilarious I like maker's mark in small doses it's pretty good I think I should refrigerate it or get it cold or at least chill the glass or the shot glasses next time I might chill my shot glasses that way it can be prepared and that way it won't burn so hard all right so we're gonna take that and use some cornstarch and for some stupid reason, every single time I open the cornstarch, it likes to explode everywhere. So we're going to try not to do that today. We're going to try our hardest not to do that today. Be very gentle. Be very gentle. Very gentle. Don't talk too loud. Don't talk too loud. Ah. All right, we're good. We're good. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and start heating up. I'm going to cook the beef. Oh, let me move you over. Hold on. Let me move you on over to the stove where all the action's about to happen. Oof. What did I do? Why did I make the cords like that? What did I... What am I doing? One second. One second. I put the cord underneath the damn plate. All right. So let's put this over here. Oh, y'all can see the cooking action. Get the slack. And let's see how this looks. How does that look? That looks pretty good. All right, the beef's going to happen here. And then the stir-fried veggies are going to happen here. And this is going to be the rice. It's going to be the pot of rice because our rice cooker died. I don't know if y'all remember that stream. But rest in peace, rice cooker. Rest in peace. You did your work. You did good. You did good, rice cooker. We appreciate your help. Okay. A small whiskey glass with two ice cubes and whiskey or bourbon. Chilling the shot glass might work as well. Yes, I definitely need to do that because uh, that maker's mark burned. It burned real good. But hey, I'm feeling good now. It's a good stream now. All right, so let's get let's keep it going. So let's start heating up. Make sure I turn it on the right side because one side of this knob turns on just part of the burner, the small part, and then the other side turns on the big burner because it's a glass top. I need to adjust to that. So we want to get this bad boy screaming hot as always. So we're going to put in, let me bring over my recipe book here. We're going to do a few tablespoons of sesame oil. And I'm going to do a little splash of extra virgin olive oil as well. Boom. And then in the wok over here, we're going to get that bad boy screaming hot too. More sesame oil. And then we're going to also coat it with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil as well. I do like the flavor that extra virgin olive oil gives food. So I'm going to definitely use it. Welcome in a date night in. How are you? So good to see you in here. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming in. Happy Friday. I'm doing well. How are you? How are you? Super awesome to see you in here. Thank you so much for dropping in. Friday hype. I'm telling you, today has been a, it's been a good day. It has been a good day. 
So with the wok, this one's stainless steel. It is not nonstick. So I really like to make sure that all of the oil coats everything. If not, it's going to stick terribly. All right, so let's while these are warming up, let's get the rice going as well. So I've got my 20, or it's not 25 pounds anymore, but got a big bag of rice here. The menu sounds great. I'm super excited to see how this turns out. The wok is beautiful. It is a nice wok. It's a princess house. I think it was a gift from my brother-in-law's mother to us, and I love it. It's It works great. You just got to know, <laughs> know what you're doing, or uh, don't let everything stick to it. Wow. Sorry, I've had a shot, and I'm drinking a beer, so my words are hard right now. So we're going to do about a cup, cup and a half of rice, probably two cups, because I am going to have leftovers. Pour that in there, and I'm going to eyeball it like I always do. So the rule with the rice is you see the layer here. You take your finger, you poke it in there, and then you're going to double that. So it's right at the top of my fingernail. So we're going to go up and double it. So it's a two to one ratio, or you can just eyeball it, whatever works best for you. Then we're gonna get that onto the burner, turn on the heat, we're gonna bring it to a boil and then we're gonna reduce it to a simmer, simmer, wow. And then let it steam itself for a little bit. You're good, cheers. What kind of beer are you drinking? I am drinking a local beer. It is a it's Gizmo Gozi Wild. It's a strawberry Gozi made out of Raleigh, North Carolina. Super delicious. Here, this is a better camera to show you on. Wow, it's really, really good actually. Yes, yes. Only one shot in a beer. <laughs> It'll only get better after seven. I'm telling you, I uh, I don't drink that often. So when I do, it hits pretty early on, pretty early on. So that's just a disclaimer there. And I feel like, I don't think it's bad, but I feel like there's a little bit of smudgies on the lens there. Oops, ha, <laughs> thank goodness it's a GoPro. Cause if not, that would have totally just destroyed my camera. Welcome back, guys. It's okay. Oof. My goodness. Can you believe that? All right, we're back, guys. We're going to be back here in just a second. I'm sorry. <laughs> Good stuff, right? So the way I'm going to have to reactivate this is by going to the GoPro on my scenes. Properties. Deactivate and activate, and usually it'll pop back up. Oh no, it switched completely. What did it do? Well, this is fun. This hasn't happened before. Let me reconnect it. So we're having a great time. I don't know about you guys, but uh, this car changes, yes. Yeah, the camera went on a journey. The legs just went bloop because it's on a it's on a gorilla pod, so sometimes the legs give out too. I don't know why. I spent a decent amount of money on the gorilla pods, hoping that it would actually do what it's supposed to. Oh, that's why. Because I still have the battery in it. Let me take that out. All right, GoPro, chill out, bro. Stop beeping. It's all gonna be okay. Let me get this back up and running here one second one second one second make sure nothing's burning all right our rice is boiling already so let me turn that down I heard it all right should be ready here in just a second. I do apologize for that. This is what makes content creation so much fun though, right? There's always a little bit of an issue at some point. That was a good noise. That's the noise I wanted to hear. There we go. That's another noise I wanted to hear. Are we back now? Come on. Yes, we are back. All right. Let's try not to do that again. And now I'm tangled up underneath my other cords. All right, cool. Now let's put you back where you were. Be gentle this time. Let me put the leg out in front. That'll probably help. Spread out the gorilla pod just a little bit. All right, cool. 
Now we should be good. Now we should be good. Sorry about that, everyone. That always makes things interesting. <laughs> Shout out at GoPro. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So now everything's getting nice and hot. Like the walk is really hot. So let me turn on the vent. There we go. Emotional yes, damage. There was a lot of emotional damage right there. Whoa, GoPro was playing NBA 2K19? <laughs> Who knew? Yes, how is the birthday dinner? Oh, still no volume. Okay. All right, we're smoking over here. So I need to pour the cornstarch in with the beef real quick, and let's mix that up. We're going to do this in batches. Just need about a quarter cup or so. Want to get it coated nice and evenly. All right. We roll in. I need to get a plate lined with some paper towels to catch the beef. That way it doesn't get s gross and weird. All right. Now we have a plate to catch the, p the beef. Let me get my hell spatula i think it's called hell handle yeah hell handle boom all right that's ready to go just be careful not to scrape the teflon coating on your pan if you're using metal welcome in koopta how are you so good to see you in here so 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 good how how have you been hopefully you've been doing well all right the walk's hot i turn this down so i want to start the beef first because we got to do it in batches let me get a pair of tongs Where are the fallout apron? Let me go grab that really fast. Good, thanks. Good to hear. I don't know if y'all can hear me or not. Ooh, somebody ordered Papa John's. I saw it drive by. Good for them. They're having pizza for dinner. It is Friday night. By, by all means, order the pizza. I've been saving for this. I love Fallout. So let me actually really... I'll wear it the rest of the stream. That way you'll be able to see it. How's the rice doing? The rice is doing good. Let's bring that back up. This is nice and hot. Let's grab them tongs. Wherever I put them, there they are. All right, so get ready for some sizzles, all right? I'm glad to hear you were doing well, Kupta. Okay, so it's not that hot yet. But just do a single layer because if you put too much in the pan, what it's going to end up do, doing is steaming rather than searing it off and creating flavor. It's just going to be a gray mush. So don't do too much. Do just enough. There we go. Now you can hear the sizzles, right? Listen to the sizzles. My uh, longtime friends actually got me this. I had no idea he ordered it. It just showed up, and I was like, who the hell ordered me a Fallout apron? That's pretty damn awesome because I do have a Fallout cookbook. I do need to start cooking out, cooking out of that book again. I'll do that at some point, but it's a pretty good cookbook. Yeah, flipping action, baby. Like I said, keep the heat going on this. You want it to stay nice and hot, and you want that searing on it. You want the the light browning that's happening on it, the caramelization. I totally forgot to add salt and pepper to it. So I'm going to add salt and pepper to the rest of the bag. But that's okay. Because you got to season every single layer. I brought I bought the Elder Scrolls cookbook, but I have barely used it because I suck. Hey, dude, it's all good. I've actually thought about buying that one. There's also a Star Wars one that I thought about buying. That would be pretty cool. Salt and pepper. Season every single layer. Develop that flavor everywhere that you can. Please. That's the one thing you learn from this channel. Season everything, please. Look at that. Beautiful beautiful beef oh my god again 
All right, we're back. I'm so sorry. At least it didn't disconnect this time. So I think I'm going to ditch the gorilla pod eventually. Let me spread the legs out a little bit more. Nice and sturdy this time. Let me pull some more slack into it too. Sorry about that, guys. I've been along for a wild ride tonight. I do apologize for that. <laughs> At least you got to see the flipping action though, right? And I'm getting it all over the burners too. So that's when you know it's really good. So you want to get a nice, nice hard sear on this. It's going to be super pretty. Super delicious. I have the D&D cookbook. How is that one? Is that one any good? I love cookbooks. I want to get, they have a Hell's Kitchen book that I want to get that's exactly off of, it's the exact recipes off the Hell's Kitchen TV series. I think that would be super cool. On the reviews, it says that it is not for the <laughs> intermediate cooker. It's for the people, it, for people that know what they're doing essentially. So I would love to get into that. That way I can make Beef Wellington like Gordon Ramsay himself. That'd be super cool. Listen to all those beautiful sizzles. All right, so the first thing we're going to throw in with the stir fry is going to be the ginger and the garlic. That way we develop that flavor right off the bat. And then once we throw everything else into it, all that flavor is just going to keep building on itself. It's going to get better and better. They're coming out with a Witcher cookbook. That's pretty sweet. I would like to look into that too. Just fill that whole top shelf up there with uh, cookbooks. That would be super awesome because right now, I've got three books from culinary, four books from culinary school. I've got Fallout Cookbook, Instant Pot, Air Fryer. I've got, what's that one? Oh, that's the buddy one from like Cake Boss. I have Family Celebrations, Callie's Biscuits and Southern Cooking, Dishing Up Virginia, and I got Kitchen Confidentials up there as well. Look at this, you guys. Look at all of those. Look at that beautiful beef right there. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to take it out and put it onto the... Save all the fat and the oil in there. That way, when we keep cooking, we'll just keep building that flavor. Build the flavor as much as we possibly can. Makes all the difference in the world. I'll catch up on chat in just a second. Cooking streams, it's a little difficult to keep up with chat sometimes, but I'm going to do it. We're going to make this work. So we're going to let this get hot again because it, the pan does cool down a little bit. Obviously, because it's off of the burner, but also when you add the beef and stuff to it, it cools down just a little bit. See, we still got some fat in there. Beautiful stuff. Let it heat back up. And we'll get ready and start throwing in our our uh, vegetables and stuff. I haven't made anything out of it yet. Got it for Christmas, but I have I've been busy. It had I had beef Wellington at Hell's Kitchen. It was so good, but I've had better. I really want to go to a Hell's Kitchen restaurant. What was I about to do? Oh, here, let me do this real quick. Do my normal Discord shout out. This is where this recipe is going to be. If you are interested in following this recipe and cooking it for yourself, I'm following it to a T unless somebody redeems something that I need to change up the recipe just a little bit. And you can figure that out by looking at the channel points. All right, so let's do the beef again. Let's get a little bit more in there. Let's do round two. We're going to do it in three batches. Some of them are sticking together pretty good. So let me get the tongs back. Let's use the tongs for that. Got to keep them separated. There we go. All right, now we're we're doing good things again. Shit, I don't have 1929 points. So the funny thing is, is why it costs that much? This is because that is the date that I think it was Texas Pete was made. And Texas Pete's my favorite hot sauce, the my favorite generic hot sauce. So that's why I did that. That's when it was created. So that's why it's like that. I should just put it down to like a thousand or something. But if we do make it spicy, I have options. I've got hot chili oil here. And I have cayenne pepper. I have crushed red peppers and all that good stuff. I use Cholula almost <laughs> religiously. I Cholula is a really, really good hot sauce. I do like Cholula a lot. If you could, you know what, I'll just show you. Look at, see, can you see the fridge from there? Yeah, you can. So that is all hot sauces down there. Every single one of those is a hot sauce, a sriracha. I've got the truffle hot sauce. I've got two different kinds of sriracha. I've got Old Bay hot sauce, Cholula, Catalina hot sauce, Frank's Red Hot Buffalo sauce. 
All sorts of things. I love hot sauces. I love them. <laughs> I'll just save for the 8,000 redemption, fair enough. Did I hear you say you used EVOO? You're fat in the pan. Yes, I did not write that in my recipe. I did just a little bit. I added just a little bit of EVOO to it. And in fact, I'm going to do just a little bit more because a lot of the fat actually just got absorbed by the cornstarch on this beef. Let's check our rice. Rice is looking pretty good. Let me get the little spatula here. And we're going to stir up that rice just a little bit, make sure it's doing all right. Feels pretty good. It's almost there. If you've cooked rice enough times, you can tell just by feeling it hit the utensil you're stirring it with. It's crazy. The Old Bay hot sauce goes in Margar Maryland margaritas. It is a very good hot sauce. I love Old Bay. I love hot sauce. So why the hell not? Why wouldn't I buy the hot sauce? It's delicious. All right, so let's go ahead and start cooking some veggies now. Let's get this pan hot again. I turned it down so we could catch up with everything. Always, when you're cooking, try your best to plan things out. That way it all comes together near the end at a good time. So obviously the veggies and stuff are going to cook quicker than the, uh, like the beef and stuff because I got to make the sauce still too, which I'm just going to make it in the pan as we go. It's super easy because it's got like ginger, garlic, low sodium soy sauce, water, dark brown sugar. So this is going to be a nice thick kind of sweet sauce. It's going to be really good. And then once I add this beef back in, you're going to get that, uh, it'll thicken up just a little bit. Ooh, okay, it'll thicken up just a little bit from that cornstarch that's on the outside of the beef. The sauce is going to be muy delicioso. I use toasted sesame oil on my bulgogi. I do have sesame oil, which is what I did use a little bit. I just got a little bit left, so I'm trying to be a little bit uh, a little bit nice with it so I can save it if I need it for something else. So the first thing I'm going to throw into this hot wok is ginger and... Uh, garlic which I have over here already I don't know what I'm doing with my life all right so this is actually the ginger one that's for the that pot so let me take this out got a nice sear on that beef let's add a little bit more oil to it that way we can cook round three and we'll be done cooking the beef for now let it heat up and then we'll keep going oh that's the puree stuff Oh, the pure stuff, the toasted stuff. Oh, I got you. I've definitely, I've used it before. Yeah, the wallet hurts. Yeah, it does hurt a little bit when you get the new stuff. Some, it's, some oils are super expensive. It's crazy how expensive things can get. All right, so that's already hot as hell. So let's go ahead and drop in this last batch of beef. We'll break it up with the tongs. And now our wok is smoking. So let's go ahead and throw in. It's got to move quick now. Let's throw in our garlic, and let's throw in some ginger. Let's get that moving around. Let those flavors develop. Turn the heat down for just a minute. You can see it's popping everywhere. That's because the ginger in that bottle has a high water content to it because it's just sitting in liquid. But what we're doing here is we're flavoring the oil and we're cooking the, the harshness out of the ginger and the garlic. That way it doesn't burn a little bit when you eat it. Bulgogi is amazing. Yes, it is. For sure, I do a spicy bulgogi, but my mom still makes me make it traditionally for family stuff. I got you. Some people just don't like spicy too much. You can see it's toasty already. So let's go ahead and throw in our broccoli because that's going to take pretty long. So let's get that broccoli in so we don't burn all of our uh, precious ginger and garlic there. Let's go ahead and throw in some carrots as well. Oh, what just happened? Oh, Pikachu, welcome in. How are you? Thank you so much for the raid. How is your stream? Do you mind doing a shout out for me, guys? Whoever's available. Thank you so much. Thank you for the follow. Thank you for the follow. Yes. Thank you. What game are we playing there? Thank you guys so much for the follow. Sup, fam? Heck yes. Welcome in, everybody. Oh, here we go. I'm cooking pretty quick now. I gotta stay on top of this. I'm telling that to Tony now. Sorry. <laughs> Good. Tell him. Nice. 
Oh, yes, I got a Fallout apron on. Yes, I do. Thank you so much for the raid. How are you? Thank you so much for coming in. What were you playing? You're playing Tomb Raider Legend. Nice. Super exciting. I am a foodie, so I have to follow. Thank you so much. It was really fun. Thank you. How's your stream going? So far, so good. Raid, yes. It's why I followed. Fair enough. Fair enough. I do appreciate y'all so much. That is an apron, and it is glorious, my dude. Heck yes. Thank you so much for the follows. We are up to 406, you guys. We are going places. We are going places. Oh, yeah. Let me do the fancy flips for everybody that just came in. So we're doing spice. We're doing Mongolian beef today with the veggie stir fry and rice. So I'm cooking the beef in batches. That way it doesn't steam. It develops that awesome flavor on the outside. Thank you for the shout out. Yes, thank you. Thank you. For those of you just coming in, my name is Sheffrey. Huh? The way the cameras are lined up looks funny. Your face had sideways legs. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I got you. I got you. That is funny. Uh, my name is Jeffrey, and I do cooking streams. And I hope you enjoy yourself while you're in here. I like to cook, have a beer, and explain what I'm doing while I do it. So I hope you learn something while you're in here, and you also have a good time. Yes, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for the follow. Taco, I think is your name. Sorry if I said that wrong. Or Toko. Sorry, and Raging Dark Soul. And thank you again so much for that raid package, you. I do really appreciate it. I truly do. Raids are amazing. It is a great way to get around and hang out with different people that you're not used to hanging out with on Twitch. It is super, super fun. Looking really good so far. Yes, I am super excited about this meal. I'm super excited about this meal. I'll cut open this broccoli or this green beans real quick. That way they're ready to go when I need them. So right now we got broccoli in the wok with some ginger and some garlic. And then this pan, we just got skirt steak with a little bit of salt and pepper and some cornstarch. We're going to get ready and start making that sauce now. Let's turn that heat down just a little bit. We're going to let it cool down a smidge. And then we'll keep it going here in just a second. We'll make the sauce and everything for that. So right now we're going to work on the veggie stir fry just a little bit. Let's check our rice. Rice is looking delicious, so I'm going to turn that on all the way low. I'm watching, not going to lie, I used to watch Food Network like naughty good channels. Wow, that is awesome. Food can be naughty. This is very true. Making me hungies, food is naughty. I totally agree. I love food so much, and I, I love cooking, and I love sharing what I'm doing. It's, it's a definitely a passion of mine, and I definitely, definitely want to bring people into that passion, you know. It's... Why just sit here when I can be sharing it? You know, why cook for myself when I can cook it for everybody else and they can watch? Oh, absolutely, Kirby can help. That's an awesome emote, by the way. That is an awesome emote. All right, so our broccoli is looking good. Let's add in our green beans because those are going to take a little bit as well. Make sure as we're putting them in that we catch things like this. And if you want to wash them first, by all means, it's totally cool. These were already washed, technically, but I'm risking it. All right. So let's add in a little bit more green beans. And then we'll add in our radish next, and then our carrots. So let this, that's still going. That's still nice and warm. Rachel Ray Bruv, Good Eats. Good Eats is a good show. I love that show. And before stream on Food Network, they were uh, diners, drive-ins, and dive was on, so I was watching that. Hello, <laughs> Kirby is violence. <laughs> my dude's saying my friends were all watching Scrambled Show. <laughs> That's awesome. I love it. Thank you all so much for coming in and hanging out. I do appreciate you staying and hanging out a bit. And Packachu, I know how it works after a stream. If you need to go, that is totally fine. But by all means, definitely hang out if you can. Because I know the, especially after I stream, I've got to clean up everything afterwards. Thank you. If you would like to join the Discord, there it is. My recipe for this is posted in there already. So if you would love to join the Discord and have some of my recipes, I do have quite a few posted in there. Not all of them, but I do have a decent amount for sure. So let's go ahead and add in our leeks now. This is going to be an interesting veggie stir fry. I'm excited to see how it turns out and how much flavor it has. And I need to moisten this up just a little bit, so I'm going to add in a little bit more sesame oil right into the pan. 
so I can get hot instantly. Look at all of the green. This is very springy right now. I like it. I'm digging it. So this is going to cook down a little bit, so it's not going to make as much. Uh, I'm tired, so I may end up going quiet, in which case I've fallen asleep. Totally. Like I said, thank you so much for bringing that raid in. I appreciate it so, so, so much. I do appreciate that. It's quite, quite late here. I do. That's tough. Oh, no problem. I totally understand it. I totally understand it. I understand that, uh, that struggle. All right, so stir fry is looking delicious. Let's add in some of the radish next, actually. Actually, no, we're going to save the radish for last. Let's add in some carrots. We're going to do about half a cup of carrot. Ooh, that was too much, but that's fine. This is going to be really good reheated the next day. So keep the stir fry going here. This pan's still really hot for when we need it. So that's good. I've got it on low right now to keep that heat in there. So when we start adding stuff, it'll be good to go. <laughs> You're going to forget in five minutes. So many vibrant colors. Love it. Yes, I do love vibrant colors. Like I originally, I thought this was going to be more vibrant, but it's not. The watermelon radish. But it's still delicious. So that's okay. Going to head back to see Zoe and Lainey. Awesome. Give them some lovins for me. It is. I'm super excited. Now i got to do some chef, and chef stuff here for you. Let's do some flips. There we go. There we go. Let's turn that heat back up. Let's add in the baby corn. It's going to make way too much stir fry. And then we'll add the sauce here near the end. I think the only thing I have left is the radish and the bean sprouts. So we're going places, guys. We're going places now. So let me get the, the bean sprouts open and ready to go for when I need them. There we go. All right, so let's start on the sauce for the beef now. So let's make sure that it's not screaming hot because we got to add the ginger and the garlic to it. I'm going to go ahead and use the same spatula that I'm using for the stir fry for this because I don't want to, you know, ruin the pan with a metal spatula. Let's put in the garlic. Let's put in the ginger. All right. Let's let this cook for just a second. Let me go ahead and get my, what do I need next? Salt and pepper, done, done. Add ginger, garlic for 30 seconds. Add soy sauce and water and brown sugar. All right, soy sauce, we need about half a cup. I got low sodium soy sauce here. Let me get my water real fast. Need a third of a cup of that. If you want to substitute it for like chicken broth or beef broth, by all means, you could do that. Exactly, <laughs> never such a thing. Such a healthy and delicious meal being made. I would buy that. Heck yes. He's single girl's mom. It's okay. Mama can say that. <laughs> yeah, a lurking mom of three is my mother. All right. Let's mix that up a little bit more. Get that flavor developing and getting going. Let me clean that off and let's mix this stir fry up a little bit. Now you can hear it really starting to sizzle over here. That's when good things are happening. All right, now let's add in our water. Turn that heat back up. Let's add in our half a cup of low sodium soy sauce. I know that seems like a lot, but it's gonna reduce down and just envelop this beef in its delicious goodness. And I'm actually gonna switch over to a whisk. I have a silicone coated whisk that I'm gonna use instead. That way I can make sure all the good bits come up off the bottom and I don't have to keep scraping off of that spoon. So let me grab that real fast. There we go. Because I'm going to get ready and add brown sugar as well. So here is our soy sauce. And now we need our dark brown sugar. Yes. Yes. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's all good. It's all good. No worries here. No worries here. All right, dark brown sugar. I need half a cup. Ooh, that's probably too much. So it makes sugar, dark brown sugar, and uh, light brown sugar is the amount of molasses that is in the sugar itself. So that's the difference there. If it's dark brown sugar, it's got more molasses in it. So now the sauce is going to thicken up. We're going to let it reduce down just a little bit. Let that sauce thicken up and do its thing. We're looking good. We're looking good. All right. Our veggies are looking good. Let's add in our radishes. Let's turn that heat down just a little bit. We're going to get ready and add some soy sauce in. And then we'll add in our, our bean sprouts right at the end. I want some chicken and dumplings. I have made that twice on stream. I love chicken and dumplings a lot. <laughs> yes, yeah, so happy. Good to hear. I could devour four plates of this. I am super excited about how this is going to turn out. I hope it's going to be really good. I think it's going to be. Pretty confident in that. So as you can see, as this reduces... The sugar is going to melt. It's just going to tie everything together and thicken it up. Let's turn that heat down just a little bit. Let me snip my green onions off of my plants back here and wash them bad boys off. The awesome thing about green onions is you can just snip them and they'll keep growing back for a long time. That's super cool. Getting a little haircut over here. Let me wash these off. So I got a little herb garden behind my laptop. It's super cool. All right, so my green onions are ready to go. We'll snip these into the pan when we're ready. <laughs> Welcome in, Connor Carbonara. How are you? Thank you so much for coming in. What you don't understand is how I could eat a Panda Express out of business. So you know I'm into this. That is awesome. So awesome to see you in here. Thank you for that follow the other day, Carbonara. I do appreciate that. It was awesome catching your stream the other day, too. So I think they're moving a little quick. So I'm going to get keep this going here, keep this train rolling. Need about four tablespoons of soy sauce. This isn't like a very elaborate stir fry. It's just enough, you know, just to give it some flavor. We'll add some salt and pepper to it as well. You can see that sauce bubbling away there, thickening up as we go. How are you today? Salt and pepper. Look at the sauce, guys. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. So we're going to let that reduce down just a little bit more. I'll catch up with chat here. I used to think Panda Express and Subway were super healthy, <laughs> but I heard stories. I have two. I have two. Dad joke. What is the hardest part about skydiving? The ground. Wow. That is a very good dad joke right there. Thank you, dad joke pot. Uh, dude, you're inspiring me to cook right now. That is what I want to hear. Thank you so much for letting me know that. I love cooking so much. It's so much fun. Let Just let your creativity flow. Like It's, it's, it's a fun time. I love cooking so much. So this is pretty much done. Everything's kind of steamed. And I like a little crunch left in my green bean. Oh, it's perfect. I'm going to turn that down now. Mm. And now we're add some bean sprouts. I'm going to do a little bit of a handful there. Look at this. Look at this veggie stir fry here. I could just eat this. Not going to lie to you. I'm going to add a little splash of dark soy sauce to it too. Just to really get that flavor going, you know? I love soy sauce so much. And dark soy sauce has a dipper, de oh, wow, deeper, richer flavor than regular soy sauce. And look at that color that it just turned. This is beautiful. All right, so I'm going to spread this out. The heat is turned off. 
That way it doesn't steam itself and turn funky colors. I was asking everyone in chat for their best dad, dad joke. That's awesome. Yes, the dad joke bot is awesome. I love it. I narrate my own cooking by myself like I'm on a TV show. That is awesome. I get that. I've just woken up feeling pretty average with COVID. Yeah, I did see that you had COVID. I hope you have a speedy and easy recovery because that's it's it hits everybody differently. So I hope you feel better. Agreed that feeling inspired creativity when cooking is the best. I totally, totally agree. I love creativity that you can have when cooking. And pretty soon, I think I'm gonna do one of those pantry raids where you just kind of cook stuff out of your pantry. That way I can get rid of some stuff in the pantry. All right, so our beef is back in the pan. Now our sauce should really start sticking to that. And then we will add in our green onions right at the end. That sauce looks nice and uh, sticking pretty good. So we're gonna let this heat up just a little bit. Heat everybody back up, get everything nice and hot. Then we'll add in our green onions right at the end. Do trees poop? Of course they do. That's how I get number two pencils. <laughs> That's a good one. I do like that one. That is a really good one. Number two pencils. I'm going to remember that one. I like it. I like it. Put these bean sprouts back into the package. Let's throw these bad boys into the fridge. I like to clean up as I go too, just a little bit. That way, as I always say, you don't have to clean up as much after the stream and you can sit there and just be fat and happy while you're eating. It's good stuff. Everybody likes a good poop joke. This is true. This is true. I'm digging it. I am digging it. Discord for the recipe. Thank you so much, Pokeday. I appreciate that. Yes, the recipe is in my Discord. Look at this. Look at this. My goodness. I want to try a piece so bad right now, but I'm going to just save it. The cornstarch that was we put on the outside of that beef is helping that thicken up just a little bit. You know, it's really thickening up the sauce. Now that I turned it up, it's going to caramelize just a little bit and reduce that sauce down just a little bit more. You can see how thick it's getting. Once it cools down, it's really going to thicken up. So I need to watch this. So I got to be careful with that. I'd be very careful with that. You can, ugh, that's going to be so damn good. I'm going to put that down to low now. Let it cool down for just a minute. And then I'll add in the green onions. I'm going to load up the dishwasher a little bit too as we're going here. And I will catch up with chat right after that. Definitely like to clean as I go. It makes life so much easier later. All right, and thank God for dishwashers. I tell you what, all right. Not eating your food as you were cooking is like the biggest challenge. I know I, I, I wanted, I usually always try it as I go, but today I'm just feeling a little different. Look at that, man, oh man. Cause if you eat a lot of it while you're cooking it, you're not gonna be hungry for when it's actually time to eat, you know? So what I'm gonna do, so I'm going to go ahead and throw in these green onions. That way they cook up a little bit. Let me get my scissors. Going to cut up most of it. And we'll save a little bit for garnish. There we go. We'll save some of this for garnish. We'll put this into one of these little bowls I have over here. And we're going to mix that in. And I'm going to bring you back over to here. That way we can start plating and presenting and eating oh yeah i love pantry raids that's what i did for those sweet potatoes black bean burgers oh wow mine with a fridge raid they had so many that is awesome i'm definitely gonna do that definitely gonna do that welcome in blueberry puff how are you so good to see you in here <laughs> thank you thank you <laughs> make me hungry that is awesome thank you so much for coming in i do appreciate you for stopping in Man, if this doesn't look delicious, then uh, I don't know what to tell you. All right, so let me bring you back over here. And we'll get ready to present for trying time and everything. Sorry. Take my money. I think a fun goal to have I have set in mind would be to have a restaurant. Sorry, I got to get the cordage right real quick. 
have a restaurant and stream while I'm cooking sometimes and have people in the kitchen with me. It would be so much fun. I think that is a pretty cool goal to have. Goal to have. My bad. Here we go. Let me check that camera angle. How's that? Now you can really see the Fallout apron. Nuka Cola. Nuka Cola. All right, so that camera angle is pretty decent. It's not the greatest. Let me fix it just a little bit. Because I'm going to use this camera for try er, uh, plating as well. Yes. All right. Stir-fried veggies are good. Look super delicious and super yummy. This beef, though, I cannot wait to try this beef. And our rice. So the first thing we're going to – sorry, let me catch back up. That's such a cool apron. I know one of my friends bought it for me, and it was super cool. It came in the mail, and he didn't tell me. So it was super exciting when I got it. I was like, no freaking way, dude. I, and I didn't know who did it right away, so I had to find out. Which is also fun to find out is who did it. All right, so rice. Let's grab that. Let me aim the camera down at the plate. What flavor is that drink? So this drink here is called – I can't give away the name just yet because I'm not officially – uh, on a deal with them, but it is uh, the red, white, and blue popsicle that you got when you were a kid. It's one of my possible brand deals right there, guys. Super fun, super cool. So let's go ahead and get the rice scooper out, actually. This rice looks perfectly cooked. Not gonna lie to you. Yes, it is perfect. Look at that rice. Bomb pop, yes. So let's put the rice down first. So this is the first time I'm using this plate. I'm super excited to try it out and use it. I bought it last week after my last stream. I'm going to put a decent amount down. We're going to bring it all in just like that, make it look pretty. Just a little bit more. We're going to put the beef towards one side, and then we're going to put the veggies on the other side. So let me edit this a little bit. Let me grab some paper towel. Plating is also one of my favorite parts of the stream too. It's a lot of fun. Sometimes they don't turn out too great, but that's all part of the experience. Bayside, welcome in. How are you? So good to see you in here. How has your day been going? There we go. Now let's bring over the beef. Look at this, you guys. Look at this beautiful beef, that beautiful sauce. So we're going to put this to this side here. This beef looks absolutely amazing. Cannot wait to try this. Let's let some fall down on the front. I'm super excited to have this leftover. Sometimes leftovers are better than the original. I don't know if y'all agree with me on that. Like, especially if it's a sauce like this, develop, the flavors are just going to develop overnight and get better and better as it sits. And then tomorrow, once you heat it up again, ma. Welcome in, Solomon. How are you? So good to see you in here. My mouth is watering. Thank you guys for the support. All right, so now that that's like... Goodness, I need more paper towels. Sorry, Day. <laughs> yes, Solomon is in here. Welcome in, Pete. How are you? So good to see you in here. Thank you so much for coming in. Everybody's coming in. I'm loving this, you guys. Well, that looks delicious. I missed the cooking, but made it in time for the meal. Heck yes. Welcome in. Food looking bomb. Thank you, thank you. All right. I'm editing as I go here. All right, let's bring over some of these stir-fried veggies. Make sure we get a little bit of everything in it. So we'll go to the side, this side like that. Make sure we see what vegetables are in there. So green beans, we need to see some broccoli. We need to see some baby corn. We need to see some of the radish. It's a nice piece of broccoli right there. Let's get some more green beans in there. All right, now we'll edit the plate just a little bit more. 
and then we'll garnish it and then it'll be trying time adventure owl gaming welcome in oh i love seeing everybody come in how are you today that wasn't pink what do you mean what did i miss all right so let's edit it just a little bit here so i'm debating on what angle i want to attack with with my picture so i think i'm kind of like in this angle right here so let's Clean up what's going to be right in the front of the camera, right in front of the picture. And a everything behind it will be just a little bit blurry, so it'll work. Thank you for hosting the channel. The radish wasn't pink. I know. I'm so sad. I wish it was. All right. So this camera doesn't give this justice. This looks absolutely delicious. All right. So let's cut up some of this green onion right on top of the beef. I'm going to do nice little strips here. Give it some color pop. You know what I'm saying? And we'll go ahead and put some on top of this uh, stir fry as well. This looks amazing. Should I add sesame seeds to the top? Yes or no? Do you cook for a living? Uh, yes and no. I am a. Uh, I do work in a grocery store at the moment, and I am an assistant team leader. So sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It all depends on the day. Oh, whey bread. No way. Whoa. 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 Whey bread. Thank you so much for the raid doing food and drink. That's an awesome clip. And yes, for the sesame seeds. That is awesome. Thank you so much for coming in. Welcome in Raiders. I am chefing with Jeffrey and obviously I do cooking streams. Today we are making Mongolian beef with a stir fry and some white rice. So this isn't finished yet. But this is what the plate looks like. The camera doesn't really give it justice. But thank you so much for coming in. I love to cook and I love to explain what I'm doing while I do it and uh, just chat up with everybody and have a good time. And I had these right up front today. I was ready for it. So how is everybody doing? What did you end up cooking, uh, whey bread? Did I miss anything? Welcome everyone. That is awesome. Wow, 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 wow. Thank you so much for that raid. Let's do some sesame seeds right on top. These aren't toasted, but they'll add nice color pop to it. There we go. And then one more question. Is, should we just go ahead and make it spicy? What beverage with that lovely meal? I do have a beer somewhere. Oh, there it is. I am drinking a strawberry gozy beer. It is really delicious, really good. Oh, that's really good. And then I got my fancy tongs. Should I use them? Do I need to use them? Make it spicy. All right, so what do we want to use? We want to use sriracha. Do we want to use crushed red pepper flakes? Do we want to do regular hot sauce or I think sriracha or cayenne pepper or uh, crushed red pepper would look why good is on it this. spicy <laughs> why is it spicy I love that sound redemption I'm glad I got that wow okay stream elements is a little bit slow Whew. wow that is amazing, you guys. I do appreciate you all so much for coming in here and hanging out with me. All right, so if you've never had this sriracha before, Tabasco sriracha is probably my favorite one. I do have the classic one, but this one, the flavors on it are just so good. And the sushi place that works in the same place I do uses this sriracha. So I don't think I could go wrong with that. So let's drizzle some sriracha on it. Let's do a nice little, uh, nice little drizzle all over the top of it. Look at that. Nah, food looks great. Thank you so much, Waybread. What did you cook today? I do appreciate that raid so much, so 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 much. So I got my ring light here for picture time. There we go, dude. This picture is gonna be. Wow. I don't know if y'all are ready for this one. I better be ready for this one. And I've, and I've got to use chopsticks too. 
because Groucho redeemed that. So the granite countertop reflects everything. Mmm, so good and tasty. That. So good and tasty. So I'm going to try a few different angles. And this plate actually looks really good. I'm really happy with it. Let me change the light too. Sorry. No, let's try the warm light. There we go. Let's try the warm light. Bruh. This looks on point. Not going to lie to you. And this plate just looks nice too. Sorry. Very particular about pictures. Because I got to take one for the inst for YouTube as well. That way I have a, uh, a good thumbnail that grabs people's attention and brings, me, brings them over. All right. So this is the only ring light I use now. I don't use ring lights anymore. I've just got these lights right over the island here. And then I've got... Uh, just the normal kitchen lights in here now. They look really, really good. The, or the lights are really, really good, I mean. One second. Man, I'm gonna have a hard time figuring out what picture to use tonight. All right, chopsticks. <laughs> Y'all ready to watch me struggle? All right, here we go. We're going in. I can get rid of the wee cooking and just go straight back to my regular live. Wrong way. There we go. There we go. All right. Let's try this beef. Super excited for this. Here we go. Whoa. That's really good. Thank you so much for the follow, Blondie. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How are you doing today? Man, you get the sweetness from the, the brown sugar. You get the, mm, the soy sauce. Mm. I'm digging this. This is, n there might not be leftovers tomorrow. We're just kidding, there's gonna be. This is really good. Let's try the broccoli here. God, this is good. And then the stir fry, it's just got the soy sauce with the, um, not if I eat them, ah. Oh. And if you look close enough, I would say, come grab some. Mm. This is so stinking good. Wow, wow, wow. I am not mad at this whatsoever. I don't think I would change anything either. I already had dinner. That is making me hungry again. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. Let's try a piece of this baby corn. That's still got a little bit of crunch left in it. It's good. I'd love a Jeff Jess meetup. We can make that happen for sure. For sure. Mm. Bro. I honestly don't think I would change anything on this. So the recipe in the book is going to be updated and add sriracha then yes i can i will type that in or i can hand write it into the that would be fun actually what i should do is i should use like my blue or green pen for the original recipe and then anything that's changed on stream i'll use like a red pen or something that way we can differentiate what happened and when i think that's a cool idea and i am terrible with chopsticks you guys I have to write a channel point redemption. It would change the flavor up just a little bit, I think. But in a good way, I think. Mm -hmm. It'll add to the... It'll definitely develop the flavor up a little bit more. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Let's get some rice here. Mmm, so good and tasty. Mm -hmm. The rice is, it's stuck to itself just a little bit. So 
so you can pick it up just like that. Just make sure not to jab yourself in the back of the throat with the um, with the chopsticks. Mm hmm. I definitely agree. The red pepper flake in the sauce would add definitely add some pizzazz to it for sure. That's really good. I think we're gonna do that brand deal. Cause before I started stream, I drank like half of it. And I actually felt really good. Like it's I'm not gonna show you the brand just yet, but it says it's got uh it helps you focus energy and it helps your mood and I totally agree with it it totally does so I think we're gonna stand behind that one well that piece of beef just melted Wow Wow no this is just gonna turn into an eating stream hope that's okay mm -mm. even know what to say except for I'm gonna eat way too much of this I'm gonna regret it but I'm not going to at the same time if that makes any sense does it make sense I think it does but um I guess we can hang out for a little bit longer we can chit chat if anybody wants to say what they're doing for the weekend what did y'all have for dinner tonight I'd love to keep the stream going for a little bit longer we're only at a uh, how long have we been up We've been up for an hour and 46 minutes. So I'd like to go to around two hours at least. So if y'all want to chit chat for a bit, I'm all game for that. Hmm. We could also talk about some of your favorite things to cook. What do y'all like to cook? And I don't think I saw what Waybread cooked. What did he end up cooking? No, I didn't see. That's okay. I understand the. He had to clean up. I'm sure. Cleaning up after stream kind of sucks. He didn't say. I don't think. Yeah. It's all good. I'll just go check out his vod. You know what? Let me look now. See if I can see. Oh, you might hear me talking for just a second until I mute it. All right. I think I muted it in time. There we go. What did he cook? Let me find him real quick. Hi. Welcome in. I'm making bison burgers, homemade buns rising, smashed new pot Oh, yes. Grilled peppers and onions. Mwah. That sounds absolutely delicious. Thank you so much for the follow. A cook, cooking girl, is that what that stands for? Welcome in. How are you today? That sounds absolutely amazing. Awesome, I'm glad I got that right. Do you do cooking streams or anything? Happy Friday all, yes, happy, happy Friday. It's been a great day so far. All right, I'm gonna type him in. All right, you might hear talking for just a second. Oh, I'm on host. Collab time with random. Oh, we did fried chicken today. Heck yeah. That was awesome. Love me some good fried chicken. All right, let me get back into OBS and see what's happening. I'm a little lady. Welcome in. How are you? So good to see you in here. I did. I've taken time off to do a remodel. Oh, nice. That is awesome. That is awesome. That's super cool. Super cool. The bison burgers sound absolutely delicious. I haven't had bison in a long, long time. I need to change that. But here's what we cooked today. Because now we're just hanging out and chit-chatting. Made Mongolian beef, stir-fried veggies, and rice. Absolute banger of a meal right here. So good. The sauce stuck to the beef so nicely. It's really, really good. Mm-mm-mm. 
so good. That's an awesome emote. That is awesome. Here's my, this is my emote that I love. For when I do try and time and everybody's hungry. That's my favorite, that's my try and time one. It's actually me drooling in emote form like that. <laughs> we mushroom hunt here in Washington State. Thanks, that is really cool. Thank you so much for the bits, Ella Dad, Tyler. I do appreciate that so, so much. Do you ever do vegan veg vegetarian cooking? I have definitely done, I think I've done vegan before. But I've definitely done vegetarian. Oops. I've definitely done vegetarian. So I can definitely dabble back into that a little bit. Definitely not opposed to it. Because some vegan and vegetarian meals are absolutely delicious. Hmm. I actually want to do a, um, a stream with some chicken fried tofu. There's a recipe at the place I work. And I think I want to try that one time. Looking forward to the Fallout cookbook. It's a good cookbook. I would go get it now, but it's way up there and I'm not crawling on the countertop on stream. Because I have a feeling bad things are going to happen if I do that. So we're not going to do that. Mm -hmm. Tofu can be really, really good if you cook it right. It can be really good. That's for sure. I made awesome vegan dumplings myself and they came out so good. That is really awesome to hear. If you ever take food pictures and you post them on uh, Instagram, use the hashtag chef and with Jeffrey, no uh, underscores. Or if you would like to join the discord and you can post your pictures in there, I have spaces for that. That is super cool. I had scrambled tofu and it was delicious. It is. It can be really good. Some people hate on it so much, but if you cook it right and you give it the love that it needs, it's really, really good. Really good for sure. Because it pretty much just absorbs all of the flavor that uh, you put into it. So it's really good. The chicken fried tofu is really good. Not a super healthy option, but it's delicious. So, there's that. Let's eat this green bean. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. I love green beans. What's your favorite vegetable? Green beans are really good. But one of my favorite things to do with broccoli is you take it, you don't put anything on it but soy sauce, and then you put it in the oven at like 450 degrees and let it brown up just a little bit and let that soy sauce soak into it. And then you eat it, it's so delicious. And quite honestly, a vegetable I despise is butternut squash. There's some audio. Finally. Oh, what happened? Holy crap. Audio. Incredible. Do you think? I know what happened. All right, we're good. Sorry about that. I love zucchini. Zucchini is really good. I do actually need to plan out a stream where I use this bad boy here. I haven't used it yet, but my parents gave me a spiralizer. So I can definitely make noodles out of it and make pasta out of it. My favorite br vegetable is Brussels sprouts. I love Brussels sprouts too. Love Brussels sprouts. You can bake them, you can steam them. You can fry them and they always come out delicious every single time. I love me good Brussels sprouts. This beef though. Oh my god. Mm. Sorry, Groucho. Going for a fork now. I've given up. I made zoodles all the time. Oh, I make zoodles all the time. The key is to barely saute them. I know exactly. Totally agree with you on that. Because if you don't those the zucchini noodles will get away from you really quick and then they become super soggy so you got to be quick with it i totally agree with that statement but you said you don't like butternut squash my buddy makes the butternut squash bisque that is phenomenal i i mean i like it but in my years in my almost 10 years in the cooking world professionally it's probably been like 11 or 12 but I have cut up so much butternut squash. My hand has been through so much torture cutting up butternut squash. That's the reason why I hate it. I'm okay with the flavor, but I just, I just can't. I mix half and half for the youngins. Nice. That is awesome. That is a good idea. That way you can sneak in the vegetables and they won't freak out too much. I do like that. That's a good idea. It is a tough cut for sure. Yeah, for sure. It's like you have arthritis in your hand after you cut up butternut squash. And then... 
If you don't have a callus there, you're getting a badass blister there. Those blisters are no joke. No joke. Mm. I just can't get over how good this is. This is really good. I love most veggies grilled or roasted. I, I love any vegetable grilled for sure. I also have these for my grill. I don't know if y'all have these, but I have these copper mats for the grill. That way they don't fall through. And it still gets grill marks through it. So if you ever use this, definitely try this out so you don't fall through and everything. They work really good. Just a little fun tip there. I would have showed you the other one, but I've used that one and that one's got stains and stuff on it. I was curious if they still get the grill marks and they, they do. If you get the grill hot enough, then it, it, it'll come through. Mm -hmm. But that does work really good. I can't wait to do a grilling stream. I need to figure out when I want to do it. Mm hmm Those work too. Mm. That's really good. Especially when the sauce soaks into it like that. so good mm. all right what else what else do we got I also have like I said I want to do a pantry stream one day that way I can clear out the pantry and then the fridge we could do pantry and fridge one day that'd be super cool but um, yeah what else I do want to do a grilling stream super pumped about that I think I'm gonna do hamburgers for my first grilling stream I think that's a good first start and then we'll get into the fancy stuff like steaks and the chicken and all of that good stuff but burgers I think would be a perfect good first stream on the grill and then eventually get the smoker and get that rolling get the whole neighborhood wanting some food you know that kind of yeah it's gonna be a good time can't wait stuffed burger I could do that have you heard of what's called a juicy Lucy it's a hamburger that's stuffed with cheese so when you bite into it the cheese just oozes out it's a beautiful thing they're really really good and I think a good thing to stuff it with rather than just regular cheese might be like pimento cheese or something. It is a hazard. You got to be very careful because if it hits your, <laughs> if it hits your mouth or your cheek, it's it's a hazard for sure. <laughs> you got to be very careful while you're eating it. It's dangerous. It's like lava coming out. But uh, stuffed burgers would be a lot of fun for sure. Let me dig that. Mm. What else do I have? I've got all of my notes over there on the side. Recipes in Discord. Brand deals are coming up. We've got the followers. What about stuffed with bacon and mushrooms? I'm okay with the bacon, but the mushrooms, eh, maybe not so much. Not a huge mushroom fan, you know? Um, wow, I sounded Canadian there. Interesting. I said something about the Groucho Subathon and my sister's birthday coming up. I'm making egg fried rice tomorrow. Yes, I love fried rice. That's going to be another stream I have in the future, too. I want to see if I can convince my brother-in-law to do a stream with me to where he makes his fried rice because it always turns out delicious. Always turns out delicious. But I don't know if he wants to. So we'll see what happens. And I want to do a baking stream with my younger sister, too, because she bakes some phenomenal food, guys. Bakes some phenomenal baked goods, I should say. She makes a really good, like she has like a base banana bread recipe. And she's made all different variations with different vegetables and fruits in it, like strawberries one time or blueberry. They were so good. And their cookies, delicious. I want to do a reading stream sitting beside a fireplace and being all British like that. I would tune in for 100%. I would be there for that. That would be a good time. I don't know if I speak for everyone, but I would definitely be there for that. As long as I'm not working. Because, uh, yeah, my work schedule can be a roller coaster sometimes. But it's fine. But it's fine. Let me finish this beer up. This is a really good beer. I don't want to waste it. I need to get a cam first. I might make that my first cam stream. Oh, that is a good point. I have never seen a cam on stream. You're right, because you do your, your wrestling streams. Let me go ahead and give you your shout out real quick. If you haven't followed Mr. Skaos, Please do. Super cool dude. He does a lot of wrestling. He makes all of the wrestlers. I'm one of them. 
pretty badass. You know, it's pretty awesome. But he re- he uses a uh, re- uh, WWE 2K22 now, so he's moved over to the newer game, and it's super fun to watch. It's always a good time. Gets the hype up, gets everybody in chat. It's a good time. It's a very good time. Mm, that's really good. That beer is not disappointing whatsoever. Wow, we've hit the two-hour mark, you guys. What should we do next? Should we, should we get ready and toss the raid around so I can clean up and eat more foods? Let me get uh, my internet's back open here. Go back into Twitch. Mute myself. Okay. Pause. All right, I muted and paused. All right, let's see who is on. That way I can do my thing. Jerry is on? Absolutely. Will we raid Jerry then? Yes. He is playing Apex Legends. Hell yeah. Y'all better be ready for this one. He is a uh, fellow arcade amigo. So uh, definitely feel free to give him a follow if you enjoy the content. I'm not going to push it on you or anything. But definitely go give him a follow if you're into that. So let's start this raid. Let me do my salutations. Ooh. Thank you, Pokey Day. I appreciate that. I'm not sub, damn it. It's all good. It's all good. Thank you all so much for coming in and hanging out with me today. I really, really do appreciate you spending some time out of your day, hanging out with me in the kitchen while I cook and have a good time. I hope you all had a good time as well. And I definitely, definitely hope to see you in here again sometime soon. I will be streaming next week thank you for the resub pokey day you didn't have to do that i appreciate you thank you so much i uh let me give day another shout out real quick but thank you so much definitely go give her a follow as well but i'm gonna start doing two streams a week again here very very soon so stay tuned but for now we're gonna stick with one until i get my work schedule back into normal a normal flow but um definitely give tejas jerry some love and uh well, I'll tell him I sent y'all because I'm going to do the raid. So, uh, yes. Thank you, Pokey Day. Oh, now Stream Elements isn't. <laughs> Oops. That's not what I wanted. Stream Elements isn't subbed either. Oh, I can't copy and paste from OBS. That makes no sense. All right. So let's get this thing rolling. Let's have a good time and uh, definitely go say hi. All right. I will see you again soon. Bye. What is up? How's your stream, man? What'd you uh what'd you cook?